So after uh, like two hours of uh, working on this PVC pipes and uh, cutting and uh, arranging the pipes together, the rig has begun to take, take its shape. So if you notice, the bar over here, this bar over here is on the left side of the rig because uh, I'm making the rig to be right hand drive where the gear shifter is to be mounted on this bar over here. Right, the gear shifter is mounted on this bar over here. And the seat will be somewhere around here. The driver's seat will be somewhere around here. And the leg room goes all the way towards the back over there. And uh, there, there are still a few missing pieces here, which is uh, still, still a work in progress. And these are the uh, three inch uh, measurements uh, pipe, which I already cut to uh, assemble those parts over there together. So um, it looks like a pretty good progress over here. And uh, now it's just a dry assembly, which is, doesn't require any glue. And we hope that the rig will take its full shape, full form, uh, after I start, uh, after I continue working on this. And we'll see how it goes from here. <clears throat> So uh, you see this power tool here, power saw here is it's uh, pretty efficient, and you need to um, uh, something that I need to highlight here is that uh, when we cut the so cut these uh, PVC pipes over here, you got to take into consideration the thickness of the blade over here. You see this blade over here is like a one millimeter, roughly one one millimeter thick. So you need to take into consideration about the uh, take into account where the thickness of the blade will affect the final length of the pipe that you cut out. So you're gonna measure it slightly more than the measurement that you want. Put a marker there and uh, start cutting. So the thing, so when you do that, you're gonna get an accurate uh, measurement about the length of the pipe that you want to cut. Otherwise, you get like slightly lower length, slightly shorter length that you have the after you measure it because uh, the thickness of the blade will create a in inaccuracy, inaccuracy in the result that you want. So um, another way, another method that I want to point out here is that you need you probably need to do use one of these. These are hose clamps that I bought from the hardware store, right? These hose clamps they are pretty useful in the measuring and putting markers on the on the pvc pipe for example you just need to put it over here like this put it all around it and uh, you use your tape measure you use a tape measure here to measure the length you want to measure the length you want over here excuse me right this is an example to measure the length you want Right. Once you got the, the measurement, right, you can actually move this clamp over here up and down. And this clamp will act, act as a ruler for you to mark the part that you want. For you to mark, put a marker. It, it will act as a, as a marker. Then you can uh, mark the length that you want onto the pipe. And uh, you probably can draw a straight line across the whole pipe to ensure that your cut, you have a straight line cut to cut on. Otherwise, if you're going to put dots around around the pipe, that wouldn't be that would that wouldn't be accurate. But I use this method of uh, putting uh, markings on the pipe, which is uh, more accurate and more efficient. And of course, before you cut on before you cut the pipe on the on the uh, power saw over here, right? You need to remove this clamp. Otherwise, it get it get it gets in the way. Of the uh, pipe you're trying to cut so uh, that's all for now so this is just a short update about the uh, progress of uh, building the rig and this bar over here depending on how you want to build it you can move it this way and you can have a left hand drive setup when you're building the rig right so it's totally up to you and how you want to build it.